pizza time. Hello everyone, my name is Elliot, also known as Eliano, and in today's video I'm going to break down how I created this animation in the style of the Lego movie using Blender. So earlier this year, I decided I wanted to give 3D animation a go. So I downloaded Blender, which is a 100% free 3D animation software. I began creating some crude renders and following tutorials. And during this research phase, I discovered that you can make some really cool Lego animations or brick films in the style of the Lego movie which is 3D animation, but uses the principles of stop motion animation. And after making some test animations, I wanted to challenge myself by recreating an iconic scene from a TV show or movie. And with me being a degenerate Raimiverse stan, I decided to take on the greatest line and arguably greatest scene in cinema history. Pizza time. <laughs> So what do I need to build for this animation? I need to create the set of the scene, I need to create the receptionist in the foreground, I need to create the pizza boxes, and of course I need to recreate Toby One Kenobi himself, Peter Parker, in Lego. Oh boy, yeah. I went to the website mechabricks.com, which is a wonderful free platform where there is a budding community of creators that build sets and characters and vehicles, all using the built-in editing software on the Mechabricks website. I used the workshop to very quickly create the set from scratch, using pre-made bricks and recolouring them to match the scene as closely as possible. I only created half of the scene, as I'm just going to flip it later using a mirror modifier in Blender to save myself some time. Then I just simply saved it and exported it as a Blender ZMBX file. And by downloading the free version of the Mechabricks Blender add-on and opening that in Blender, I can now import my model into my Blender project. Then I created the headpiece of the receptionist, very easily just using some pre-made parts inside the workshop, and I only created the head as that's all that's going to be visible within the shot. And just like before, I saved the file and then exported it as a Blender ZMBX file. Now for the Peter Parker minifig. I looked on the Metabricks website of the minifigs that the community had already designed and stumbled across this model of him from Spider-Man 1. However, after doing some further research, I realised that there was a Spider-Man 2 version of a Peter Parker minifig. And one of the cool things you can do with Mechabricks is you can upload your own textures to the bricks, meaning I was able to use images of the original model and recreate them and then upload them to the site to make my own custom figure. I use Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop to achieve this, but you can do this with pretty much any image editing software. Then I just assembled the model and once again exported it as a Blender ZMBX file. I did the same thing for the pizza box, and with that I had all of my elements for my scene. After importing my models using the Blender Mechabricks add-on, I began setting up my scene. This included setting up the camera and adding an HDRI to sort out the lighting for my scene. Now I needed to rig up my minifig for animating, as otherwise it would take forever to move around all of these separate elements individually. I used the free Epic Rig Fig add-on for Blender and was able to easily add it to my model and begin animating. Initially I was thinking of using the original clip as a direct reference and animate the scene in a much more subtle way, but I felt this wouldn't suit the Lego Movie vibe that I was going for. So I used this shot from the Lego Movie itself of the character Bad Cop hitting the desk and made my model do a jump before slamming down the pizza boxes on the desk. I used the original video of the scene in After Effects and made notes of the frame numbers to make sure that my movements matched up with what was happening in the scene and also so it could be later aligned with the audio in the scene. And of course I made sure I added a couple more pizza boxes by duplicating my model and tried my best to emphasise not only the weight but also the quality that comes with a Joe's Pizza guarantee. <laughs> And with that, I had all of my scene animated and was pretty happy with it. But the last thing I wanted to do to sell the animation was to add some lip sync animation to my minifig's head. And after doing some digging around, I found some free mouth shapes courtesy of the YouTube user BornCG, who you should definitely check out as he's got some really cool LEGO Blender animation tutorials. And I also found out that you can import image sequences as textures onto your models in Blender. So I brought in my texture of my minifix head into After Effects in its own composition and changed the mouth frame by frame to match the words being said, as well as adding some blinking to the eyes. Then I just exported this composition as an image sequence and replaced my original texture, and now when I played through my animation and rendered out different frames, the mouth on the minifig would change in sync with the audio. And then I just rendered out my whole animation as a PNG sequence and then lined it up in After Effects with the original audio, and then re-rendered it one last time and from there, I have myself a Lego Movie Pizza Type scene. And that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing more of a casual project breakdown than the usual step-by-step -step tutorials that are usually on this channel. 
but I am planning on making some actual tutorials focusing on all of the steps used to create an animation like this, so if you are interested in that, make sure to let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below. And if you really like the video and you want to support the channel, please make sure to click that subscribe button as well as enabling the notification bell. I want to give another massive thank you to everybody who has helped the channel reach over 1500 subscribers. It truly means the world to me. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.